And then we're going to go ahead and reinstall our brake hex. If you are using the turtle rear transmission plate, um, don't forget that you will need to remove this plastic spacer here. Um, if you're using the stock HPI or a carbon fiber transmission plate, then you will probably want to leave that on. So we're going to go ahead and reinstall this. Go ahead and put our brake pieces back together. And now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and reinstall our brake pads and the upper brake plate. Now that our upper brake area is set into place, we've gone ahead and put the rear screw back in, but we have left out the front two and just have everything basically just sitting here. Um, when we reinstall the turtle gear plate on here, we're going to be using a different set of screws through the top. So we've gone ahead and held off on, on putting those in. At this point we're going to go ahead and grab the gear plate. This is the back of the plate that has the bearing built into it. And this is the front of the plate. We're going to go ahead and install it this way. We're very simply going to slip the post through the bearing and very gently with a rocking motion get everything to slide into place and you might have to uh, reset the brake pads up above and then use your thumb and just wiggle this on until it firmly seats over the bearing and is properly set against the back plate area here and when everything is on straight you'll know it you just uh, have to wiggle it around until it gets on. At this point we're going to go ahead and grab the second bag of parts and we're going to start, you can put them in in any order that you would like, but we're going to go ahead and start off with the two longest screws that are in the kit. Actually we're going to back up a step here. Um, one thing that we did forget to do was the very smallest screw in the bag here is to hold the bearing in. It's a secondary operation that allows the uh, that allows the bearing to not only be pressed in but it, the screw also holds the bearing in and it's going to be installed on the back of the plate in this hole right here. So you're going to go ahead and want to get some Loctite and insert this screw into the plate using Loctite and tighten it down. Just like so. And the lip will go ahead and hold that bearing in. Now that the screw is in, we can go ahead and place the plate onto our Baja. Just like so. And again, you're going to want to use Loctite on these screws, but the longer of the screws it's going to go ahead and put down through the top of the brake assembly. And we'll tighten those down. And it kind of pulls everything together. And then the last two screws that are in the kit we're going to go ahead and use in these two holes to secure the plate to the clutch carrier. And again, you're going to want to use Loctite on these.
We're going to go ahead and install the little rubber plugs that we took out of the old unit. And actually, we're just going to use one of them here, it looks like. And that little rubber plug is going to go right up into this upper hole here to seal that off. We are going to use our spur gear spacer, place that back on, and we are also going to go ahead and put back on our little cover. And in some instances, it may be necessary to modify this cover a little bit. Um, on this one, it's not necessary, but if it doesn't sit nice and flat and smooth, which this one does, you may need to use a little sandpaper or your exacto knife and shave off the bottom here a little bit. But uh, on this unit it, it is not necessary. From here we're going to go ahead and install the pinion gear. So we're going to grab our pinion gear and we're going to line up the slot here with the slot that's on the clutch belt. I'm going to put it in and wiggle it and you'll feel that it catches. You can use a little bit of Loctite on the screw and we're going to go ahead and insert the screw. And we're not going to tighten it up quite yet. One thing that I'm going to mention on this is that you will not need to use any shims at all. And as a matter of fact, Turtle Racing recommends that you don't use any shimming on your clutch bell. It's very precisely made and you're not going to have any worries about uh, any forward or backward play once this, everything is tightened down. So do not shim the pinion or the clutch bell on the turtle racing system. Our next step is going to be to reinstall the spur gear. Just going to go ahead and grab our spur gear make sure everything's lined up properly. Install our spur gear. See if we can put this clip on gracefully without it uh, flying across the workshop like it normally does. Okay, we got that on. Everything's lined up real well. Our mesh is beautiful on there. And now we're going to go ahead and tighten down the pinion gear. Now this is the fun part because you can torque on this puppy. You don't have to worry about it snapping, you don't have to worry about it breaking or bending. There's absolutely nothing to worry about on that except for seeing how tight you can get it. So let's go ahead and grab our wrench here. Might help if we put it on the right side. And we're just going to crank down on that puppy just as tight as we can get it. Just like that. So, now we have actually gotten the entire assembly together. Everything is running smoothly. The mesh is good. The alignment is just fine. You can go ahead and put your uh, cover back on, put your clips in, put your wheel back on, and go enjoy your new clutch system from Turtle Racing. Thank you for taking the time with us today. And welcome to Team Fast Eddie and HPIBajaTutorials.com.